The road to engineering success is not always smooth. That is literally true for a group of students taking part in a contest called the Mini Baja. The CNN's Charles Hoff reports. It's not the Indy 500 or the Monaco Grand Prix, but this race is helping to prepare the automotive engineers of the future. Okay. Engineering students from 41 schools designed and built these all-terrain vehicles. They put them through their paces at an Army base in Virginia. Most of the team spent one semester designing the vehicles and another building and testing them. The chairman of the event says sometimes that's still not enough time. Almost universally, the schools underestimate how long it's going to take to build these things, and you'll find them uh, showing up. The paint is, is virtually still wet on many of the frames, and if you look around in the pit area, you still hear the sound of a lot of wrenches. The vehicles must be able to travel over rough terrain, across deep water, and up steep hills. All have identical 8-horsepower motors, and they must include certain safety features. Beyond that, the designers are limited only by their imagination. Because of the uh, independent front and rear suspension, we uh, are able to, to traverse any type of terrain very easily, uh, whereas other cars with no suspension have a harder time doing it. If you'll notice, we do have uh, sort of a triangular design rather than what's opposed to all the other cars. We've got four wheels spread out nice. We, uh, we feel like we maneuver quite a bit better on water uh, and on land also. I think our transmission makes it superior. We use a 1971 Volkswagen bug transmission, which from what we've seen so far, nobody's used anything like. They're judged on a dozen criteria, ranging from creativity and safety to their performance in an endurance race. The race sometimes forces improvisation and includes frantic pit stops. Get in there! Get in there! This year's winner was the team from Tennessee Tech. But Holloway says all the contestants gain by taking part. There are better engineers for having experienced this project. The students need to have some experience in what they've learned in the classroom actually coming to life. And that's the way it's going to be in the real world, and this certainly, this competition offers them that opportunity. Many Baja contests are also held in the Midwest and the West. There is no formal arrangements for a national final, but in past years, winners in one region have sometimes gone on to compete and win in others. Charles Hoff, CNN, reporting. Science and Technology Today is brought to you by AT&T. In long-distance service, information systems, telephones, and computers, AT&T is the right choice.